okay yay okay so today right is uh, October 15 I think on October 13 night or something I hit my 10,000 subscriber yay okay so thank you for everybody's support if you have been you are if you're watching this video now please hit the like button if you're watching this video now and you never subscribe oh my goodness can you please subscribe or not you see your subscription uh, just click only uh, doesn't hurt you but it motivates me to do more videos lah okay so if you all think that doing this video is very easy it's not easy lah I think I released about 400 videos about property uh, zero home tour all is looking at the camera and talk about property giving you the best insights uh, and the best educational information about property okay so actually um, I think on Friday I was invited to the Singapore Creator community event uh. so it's a youtube event one year one okay so this is the tech oh it's precious you know because i didn't know uh, that top property uh, so can talk 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 until become youtuber leh. okay so anyway uh, besides that okay last but not least uh, last but not least i want to announce that third november i'm going to have my seminar and we're going to have a live forum session we will talk about property you can ask your questions i will answer your question you want to ask me here good there good there good here good i will answer all your questions in the seminar the registration link is below it's a uh, third november 7 30. okay let's cut the crap let's go okay so for today's topic i've been thinking you know because uh, now we are entering the next phase of the property market so i've been thinking hey aaron must change the kind of videos that we are doing already because uh, previously it's all bull market, bull market, la, FOMO, la, bank interest. La. Now, now what? Now what? Huh? Nah, now it's different. Nah, you know, it's different. And yes, bank interest is there, but it's not increasing anymore. It's just staying there. Will it drop? I don't know. we we'll see what happens next year, okay? The recession has to come for it to drop. La. At least that's what I understand, okay? So, Today, yeah, just now I talk about recession, right? Okay, I don't know how you categorize it, lah. But to me, recession, bear market, they are almost the same, lah. Uh, they, we can have a bear market, but not a recession, also. But I feel that the kind of scenario in a bear market and a recession is almost the same. So today, I want to talk about this three things property owner must know what to do, what to understand in the bear market or recession when which is the property market going down okay number one okay number one we talk about time why i want to talk about time okay actually this thing time is also equals to age this thing about timing about age right is a very sensitive issue in singapore property market it's not something that we talk about in the other property market because other people their lands are like uh, freehold everywhere is freehold but over here we are 99 years and we are still like uh i would say developing like because we have always been building new houses new land new bto's new launch and we have never stopped and we are also coming out with new lands like uh the southern waterfront and and the paleba airbase and whatsoever so time to me is a very important factor so what to look out during the time uh what to look out in in terms of like time and age in a recession or bear market okay i'm going to share with you now first very important i think because we are going down the bear market bear market means price go down uh, correct then later we have to wait a few years before it recovers and come up again number one we have to think if we want to sell our property or we may have the intention to sell our property in the next few years to come we are going to sell in the bear market when we are going to sell in the bear market we must ask ourselves the current property that we are holding how old is it can it survive the bear market okay so if your prior property is very old and uh, the bear market plus the recovery takes about eight years uh, to come back to norm you must ask yourself by then what is the age of your property these eight years going down and up will you come back higher or you cannot come back higher or by the time eight years you are already 30 over years or your property already 40 over years or 50 over years so this is one important question that people don't ask themselves they see what is happening currently they don't see what is happening in the future so this is why i feel that looking at the age of the property and looking whether your property can tahan the bear market to bull market and recovery and the whole cycle can your property tahan or not so regardless whether is it a hdb or a prior property you have to ask yourself this if you are 
into the monetary factor okay because um price appreciation um uh, the dollar, the strength of your property valuation, all these things actually boils down to the age of the property. Number two is people always tell me, uh, okay, so I, I've been I've been getting this question for many, many years. Last time uh, I do roadshow at the Bedok Market, uh, I always tell Uncle, Uncle, you want to buy a Uncle, you have any questions to ask me? Uncle always say the same thing. Oh, now the price is too low. Buy low, you want to buy low? The price is too low. 卖低也要买低吗？有什么分别 ？OK， so now 啊、uh, ， everyone says sell high buy high， sell low buy low。What is the difference？ OK， I'm going to answer to you what's the difference。So in the bull market， when you sell high， you buy high， right？ A lot of times when you sell high， you get back cash。OK， means you get back cash proceeds。When you sell your house， some parts of the proceeds come back will be cash。OK， that's very important。But when you sell your house in the low market times, because of interest occurred and your selling price is lower, interest I mean like CPF interest occurred, but your selling price is lower. Sometimes when you sell your house in the bear market or the lower price market, you will realize that you get back lesser cash. Okay, so these affect people that doesn't have a lot of cash, because please do not forget, even if the market is Even in the low market, even in the low market, you still need cash for option fee, exercise fee. You still need cash for your minimum five percent down payment. Some people is minimum ten percent down payment. You still need cash for many many things. So when you sell high during a bull market, you get back more cash. Yes, you may have also buy high, but. If you don't have cash personally, all your cash is inside the house. It allows you to transit easier. But if today in the bear market to come and property price is dropping, you sell lower, the amount of cash you take back may be lower. If personally in your bank or in your pocket don't have enough cash to top it up, you may not have enough money to buy the next house. Uh, because of the five percent, uh, minimum cash down payment, the renovation, all these things require cash and not CPF. So this is an important factor. So sell high, buy high, sell low, buy low. Is it the same? It's not the same. It's only the same if you are cash rich currently in your own pocket. You already got cash. This is one very very important point that many many people do not understand. Number three, okay. Number three is a very uh emotional and mental factor. If you engage me before, or you engage me for selling and buying, or you watch my channel a lot of time, you don't know that I'm actually a property agent. You can actually engage me for selling and buying, or buy new launch or whatever. Yes, rental also can. Please call me at eight five eight eight four eight eight. Okay, <laughs> okay. Anyway, ah,、uh, this is advertisement only, lah. Advertisement, ah. Okay. So why do I say mentally and emotionally? Okay, very important. This third factor is very important. As a real estate agent, ah, when I help my clients, right, I don't believe in selling them. I believe in educating them, and I also believe in helping them to be mentally prepared. Nobody likes surprises. Nobody likes. Surprises that will affect them, so it's very important for agents to educate their clients what will happen, what may happen, and prevent surprises from happening. So you must understand one thing is that in the bear market when prices are going down, selling and buying will be a little bit different from the bull market. In the bull market, it's very easy to sell, but it may be very difficult to buy. Because market transactions are going too fast, but today in the bear market where it goes down, it's harder to sell. Okay, so when it's harder to sell, harder to find a tenant, landlord and seller got to be mentally prepared that it's going to be a wait of two months, one month, three months or more. Because I don't know if you all understand or not, but when you are in the process of selling your house or you are in the process of renting out your unit, there is a stress one. There's an emotional stress because if you want to sell, you you are very motivated to sell. You say, "Hey, why nobody come? Is it must drop price? Can I get this price? Why I cannot get this price? If I cannot get this price, if I cannot buy, what will happen?" So when it's harder to sell, there is a lot of stress built up in the sellers and landlord. 
So in the bear market, we have to be mentally prepared. We have to know that things are not so easy. We have to be have more patience. We have to have more endurance. So actually, the role of the agent also need to change, and agents also need to um, understand what is the next phase and help their clients. I I get a lot of people calling me and tell me, oh my agent never tell me that, my agent never tell me this. Okay, so I tell y'all, y'all y'all always ask me, Aaron, how to find a good agent? I tell you very easy, no need to find, just call Aaron. Okay, okay, advertisement time again. Okay, so please understand that uh, in the bear market, a lot of things will change and a lot of things will happen. So please be prepared. Remember these three factors. If you have any questions, please leave in the comment below because I'm also thinking what kind of other topics should I be talking about in a bear market because we are really, really entering the next phase of the property market. 2024 is going to be different. And this is why in my 3rd November seminar, I think there's a lot of conversation, a lot of dialogue that we can have to understand what is the new phase of property market that's coming to us. 10 years later, what will happen? 15 years later, what will happen? This is what we are going to touch about. So hit the like button, subscribe button, and thank you for the 10K subscriber. And I see you again. Please sub and like. Bye-bye.